Now let's bring in CBS News Chief Medical Correspondent Dr. John LaPook. And good evening, Dr. LaPook. There is so much hope around this vaccine, but we're also getting a lot of questions from viewers. And I want to start with these adverse reactions in those patients in uh, Britain. What do we know? Well, there were reported two cases of very severe allergic reactions in people who had such a history of severe allergic reaction that they were carrying EpiPens with them. Now, they use those EpiPens and they were fine. Much more common are relatively minor reactions that show that your immune system is reacting properly. So redness at the vaccine injection site, some fever, soreness, fatigue, things like that. So for most people, mild side effects. How about this question? It comes from Lori in Phoenix, who asks, how soon after getting the vaccine will it be safe to travel? We all want to get back to normal, but uh, for now, Dr. Fauci and others are stressing the importance of saying, it's great, we have this vaccine, we think it's going to really help, but at the beginning, you still have to do everything else. You have to wear them face masks, you have to wash your hands, do the physical distancing. And as we learn how much protection we have, how well it's working, then we can start getting back towards normal. Maybe not too normal right away, but towards normal. And then what about the process here in the U.S.? How will we know where to go and get it? Well, that's going to be left up mostly to the states. Uh, so the states are going to figure out how it's distributed state by state. We do have some general guidance from the CDC and others saying that up first are going to be health care providers, people in long-term skilled facilities, uh, skilled nursing facilities. And then after that, we're going to have people who are essential workers and people who are vulnerable and older. How it's actually going to roll out state by state is going to be up to local decisions. So stay tuned if you're one of those groups. Yeah, I feel like you have to educate yourself about where you are in that process and call your doctor to get guidance. Dr. LaPook, always very helpful. Thank you.